So I think I know what this is. During the week, eBay sent me a direct message and they said, we love your videos, Matt. We see that you're doing a lot of sneaker reselling. We saw your Daily Mail and we saw the Today Show. We'd like to send you a pair of authenticated sneakers. And I gave them my address details and I said, absolutely, thanks very much. And um, I really do appreciate eBay reaching out. But they have finally arrived today and I don't know what they are. So I'm gonna rip the box open here on the, uh, on the channel for this trip to the thrift episode today and just see what we ended up getting. It looks like a pair of Yeezys. So we've got a pair of Yeezy Boost 350s. These, these are pretty cool. Now these shoes are gonna have already been assessed and authenticated by the guys at eBay. So like I said, this only launched about three weeks ago where eBay is now doing an authenticity guarantee and us as Aussies can now buy on the eBay website US shoes that are authenticated already. So there's over 100,000 listings already on eBay with authenticated shoes just like this one. Um, but I'll open them up and I'll have a quick look. This is really cool. How cool are these? So these are the Yeezy Boost 350 V2s, thanks to eBay. US size eight, and as you can see there, it's got the eBay authenticated tag. So a really cool pair, and then over the process of the next few weeks, I believe around July, you'll actually be able to take your shoes of, of value, if they're potentially you know, two to $300 worth of value, you can take them into a new authentication center in Sydney over the next couple of weeks. I think they're launching in July, so that's really exciting stuff. I think I might even do a video about it as well and, and take myself down to Sydney and uh, try and get my Jordan 1s uh, and my Nike Air Force 1s as well authenticated, and we'll see how we go with that process. But these ones have already been ticked off. I really do appreciate eBay flicking them across to me. It means the world, guys. I love my sneakers, you guys know that. And uh, for eBay to send these across is just a very, very cool thing. So thank you very much to eBay for that incredible pair of shoes. Uh, Thursday morning though, guys, trip to the thrift. Can't wait to get stuck into it today. You're gonna come along for the ride. We've got four local op shops to get stuck into. I'm gonna show you what I buy. I'm gonna show you what it goes on to sell for, and hopefully we can find some really cool stuff. So I'll see you in the first thrift. Right, guys, we are off and racing. Trip to the Thrift is underway, and I've been able to get a, a couple of items, a couple of breadwinners. Nothing too outlandish here to kick off the day. I was in a Vinnie's, but right next door, there was a 50% off op shop. So had to jump in there. I did find this one brand new sealed DVD. Now, this is a seven movie outlaw collection. It had a $10 tag. I got it for five, being a 50% off day. And the comps on eBay, I can't exactly remember, but I'll put it here right now for your convenience. I think it was about $30 to $40 for it because it is brand new. What a way to kick off the day there, guys. I love my shoes. I found the Bandit 4s. What about that for a sense of condition? That is just in very, very good nick. They're a US size 10, a plain black, Under Armour, Bandit 4. How can you go wrong for $10? Uh, I do think they'll turn into $45 to $50 pretty easily. And then I found the 503 Levi Strauss. I paid eight dollars for these guys i sell them for 39.99 it's a 34 waist a 32 length i, I really don't think that would be too much of a concern uh when i go to put it on to ebay and then i also found these as well a size medium pair of afl gold coast suns training shorts now they sell for 29.99 free postage every single day of the week, don't worry about it, and a very, very fast sales cycle as well. So paid the $6 there for that. Look at those four items, I paid $29, and I reckon they'll sell for about 100 bucks. So pretty good result there to kick off the day, guys. Let's move on to op shop number two. Can't wait to see what we can find in that one.
Oh, guys, Opshot run number two. What a truly unforgettable run. Uh, these were awesome when I first walked in. I could not believe that there were 11 brand new Dakine gloves. These are some really, that's a really good brand, Dakine. Um, now, these are brand new. They are an extra small size, which isn't great, but they only had $5 a piece on there. So I took, I, I counted them up first of all, there were 11 in the tub and I said, what was the best price you could do? And they said they'd knock $5 off, give you one for free. So I paid $50. And as you would have seen in the edit there, these gloves are $90 brand new with tags and now I've now got 11 of them. The best part about it is they are all the same style, they're the same color and they are the same size. And they've even got the inners as well. So little inner lining as well comes along with it. So. Look, for $90, brand new with tags, size extra small, same color. I can do the one listing and I can say I've got 11 of them. So it's going to be really, really quick to obviously get them up and listed. Um, and I'm going to go for, I'm thinking maybe $60 free postage. So try and get 50 bucks a piece for these. Um, so that could be $500 worth of gloves. And obviously the winter time is coming through right now. So I really do think these are going to go on a sell. So incredible get there guys i paid 50 and i do think it could go for 500 dollars, which is just incredible uh, another big hundred dollar win here was this keyboard now again guys i just asked the question it kind of ran on from obviously purchasing the gloves she was really happy that i was happy to take all, all 11 of them um and then i saw this and and she said look i'll give you a good deal on this because you're taking all the gloves um now i wasn't sure if this was 100 percent working she said it's obviously come in brand new box there is plastic on the keyboard internally here um but as you'll see she's given it to me oh you might not see it right there she's given it to me for 20 dollars so she's taken 30 bucks off the cost. I was almost gonna purchase it for the full price of 50. But then she said to me, I'll give that to you for a better price as well. So I said, what was your best price? And that's when she said 20 bucks. So that confirmed the purchase. Now on eBay, they actually sell for 139 plus 17 postage. So I can get about $150 for it. It's obviously gonna help because it comes in the box. Um, so say 150, I paid 20, take off fees. That's probably $100 worth of profit there as well. So we're talking with the gloves and the keyboard. That's about $500 right there. And I've only paid $70 so far. There are a couple of other small ones as well. I found this TV show, uh, seasons one to four of Duck Dynasty. Now they had $5 for five DVDs, so a dollar a DVD basically. Um, there's four DVDs of this one in this. This is brand new and sealed as well, which is even better. Um, now, Duck Dynasty, I think there's about 10 or 11 seasons. I've never even heard of it. Um, let me know in the comments if you've watched it, but seasons one to four here, I've paid $4. I think I can get it upwards of 30 bucks because it is obviously brand new and sealed. Uh, and then a couple of footy pieces of merchandise. This is a genuine um, GWS uh, Giants AFL hat. Uh, one size fits most. Because it's in such good condition, I do think I'll get about $25 for that. I've paid just a dollar. And I'll be very quick on this one because probably most of you won't really understand the severity or, or I guess the, the brilliance of this one, but this is a 2011 Gold Coast Suns inaugural scarf. So the very first year of the Gold Coast Suns coming into the AFL, I found the scarf. That one's got some meaning to it and it's in very good condition. Uh, I paid a dollar. I'll probably turn it into $30, I would think. So um, look, about $50 there on the scarf and the hat. And then uh, and then the, the game, I'd say 40, so that's 90 plus. I reckon there's about $700 worth of value here, guys. And I paid $77. Just an incredible run for Opshot number two. I'm feeling really good about it. Uh, they'll all go on to sell well. Let's get on to Opshot number three and fingers crossed we can do just the same in there. Between you and me, guys, I'm feeling pretty damn good after op shop run number two. Let's see if we can do the same here. I've had a look and I've seen a lot of 70s and 80s type memorabilia. I've seen a lot of Elvis Presley, as you're seeing here, and I've ended up grabbing a bundle of five of these. I've paid $10. The Betty Boop as well for $5 didn't comp too highly on eBay. Guys, I didn't do my research with these uh, Elvis Presley DVDs. I just think they will go on to sell well in a bundle, so I've grabbed them. Also saw uh, these Marilyn Monroe cards as well. These were the Sports Time 1995 cards. Um, obviously PSA graded, required. I, I wasn't really too sure about these ones and I'm always a bit nervous around buying cards. You never actually know what you've got. So I've left those alone. This was a really good DVD, season one to six uh, of A Place to Call Home. Comps for about 65. Pick that one up as well. All right, third op shop of the day. It wasn't too bad. We found maybe four or five different DVDs there. Um, should go on to sell for maybe 50 or 60 bucks. Um, I am now at a, I don't even know what this one is. It's a big store though. Uh, big op shop to end the day. Hopefully we can find a heap of good stuff because you guys know that I love to finish my op shop runs for a trip to the thrift on a high. So let's get in there and we'll see you soon. 
So much like Opshot run number three, I've made a beeline for the DVDs and I've been able to find this Adam Sandler brand new sealed for $6 and this Pinocchio brand new sealed for 10 bucks. I've ended up passing on those purely because of the price. But what would you guys have done with this one? We've got Homeland seasons one to five in used condition with the $20 tag and the comps on eBay would between $50 to $70. Would you have guys have bought it? Because I passed. I also found this as well. This was a book series for the Disney collection. Uh, didn't really do too many comps on it, but it was a brand new set of books. But um, I, I ended up passing because it was a heavy item. This one as well, Scrubs Seasons 1 to 8, $30 tag on it. Unfortunately, the resale value is only the $50. And a touch of frost as well. What would you guys have done with this? A $19 purchase in the thrift for a $65 eBay sale. Is it worth it? Let me know. Anyway, guys, I have had a really good look around and unfortunately, I have come up empty-handed for the last Opshot run of the day. So no luck there, guys. Unfortunately, I did have a really good look around and I really couldn't find anything after about half an hour in that op shop. So unfortunately, I've come away empty-handed. There were a few, as you would have seen there, a few things that I probably could have grabbed and made a few dollars on. But to be honest, I have so much stuff at home that I really don't need to be buying a hell of a lot of stuff. I was only after the good things today and I did find that big $700 haul. Uh, the gloves, that'll be a simple process to list. Like I said, I only have to list one of them and then hopefully they can just trickle away. And then that keyboard was another really good one as well. It's probably my two best items of the day no doubt about it hope you've enjoyed the episode guys we will wrap it up there uh, check out the website houseofmumbo.com.au my new website hopefully uh, there's some shoes some clothes something of interest there and it is a bit cheaper if you are interested than what it is on my ebay store so thank you very much for checking that one out links are in the description below uh, but yeah we'll break it down what's sold coming on sunday um, hopefully another special guest can be joining us uh, look forward to catching you then guys we'll see you soon